greetings to you welcome to this lecture of top 5 linux distributions before you start your linux journey usually we get confused about which linux distribution we should choose in my over 10 plus years of using linux i've seen countless distributions coming and going some of them were very fashionable in terms of ui like mint os but they were not able to make place in the corporate sector due to their functionality I've spent my childhood in boot install of Linux flavors which is why I'm giving you a golden list of top 5 Linux distributions in this video. There is a huge fan base of Kali Linux because of so many cybersecurity users and we keep the fact that the functionality of all the Linux distros are same. But again, using Kali for learning Linux is not a right approach. In this video, I'm going to introduce you five major Linux OS that are used widely into the corporate as per the objective. On number 1, I keep Red Hat and RHEL. RHEL is nothing. It is a server version and we call it as Red Hat Enterprise Linux. And you probably must have heard about Red Hat because it is an enterprise level OS which is being used by big major companies. But here they charge you for support. they will provide you pre-configured customized os that you cannot change which means it is not an open source but they can give you tech support and patch bug fix assistance which is why they are charging you for an entry level you need not to jump on red hat because there are various other free options in the upcoming list next is centos this is like red hat and it is also managed by red hat which means you can apply for red hat jobs if you are bringing your hands on centos it is free so they are not providing support and patch fix here with this free playlist of linux i want to make your job ready you can pass a lot of red hat certification if you are using centos and this will only happen if i will see some support in my comment section and we are aiming for 50 thumbs up on this video and then i will upload the next one so yes for this course we will be using centos but again functionality of all the linux distros are same so you can use any one of them On third, we have Fedora. Again, it is free, but it comes with a lot of office productivity tools for common purpose. People are using Fedora in some offices, and the interface of Fedora is very attractive. But there are some drawbacks here that it requires a longer time to set up. Biggest drawback is that Fedora has its own server, so we cannot work on other server in real time. On fourth, I would like to keep SuSE, or some people call it as SuSE. So SuSE is again a good Linux distro and some people are using it for the distribution purpose because it is amazing from the customization perspective which means people are editing their source code rebranding it molding it as per the company compliance and then just using it For example companies like VMware is also running SuSE appliances Last but not least we have Ubuntu with highest number of users because it is great for home use that is on desktop edition now it has grown up like crazy and their team is working hard which is why they are flourishing in the server edition to pc performance is good in ubuntu free upgrades awesome for home automation and great apps like spotify vlc pycharm slack are there in the next video of this course we will get started with the installation of centos so that you can learn the standards of red hat it will not only help you to crack a lot of red hat examination but it will also give you a walk through about the professional standards of linux in heavy corporate sector that's it for this lecture see you into the next video